Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. We gotta escape. We... Oh, this is just the gummy ship, but worse. Yeah. So oh, you gotta oh, take the you gotta take the magic carpet. And you gotta try to avoid the falling rocks, which is kind of hard because he steers like ass. Uh, it looks like it steers like ass. Yeah. Holy it looks like crap. it speeds up like fucking a uh, crap. Oh yeah, I can't. I can't <laughs> control that speed either. <laughs> I can't control the speed it's moving either. So you just gotta kinda maneuver around it because if you get hit too many times, thankfully it's very generous with how much you can uh, stand to get hit. But if you get hit too many times, you die and have to restart this. Jesus. There he is. The mini boss. What? The what? He's back to normal now. That's just... That's just a cave. That's just a cave. Yeah. What are you talking about? Mini boss. That never happened. What mini boss? There was no cutscene before it. There was no cutscene after it. It never happened. So yeah, unfortunately, uh, to due to our uh, Hello, nature as like peacekeepers, we can't no, actually say the word. take anyone with us. You. I, I wish. For your freedom, genie. Ow! Oh my god. He did it. He did the thing that he did in the movie, and now it, it's Sora Kingdom Hearts is staring at it. And now genie that has it. legs. A deal's a deal, genie. Now you can go anywhere you want. I don't think, uh... If you can... It'd be great if Anyone will question the fact that you're blue, Sorry, but you know. Eh, nah. You I'm blue. Sorry, Al. I'm done In what sense? Yes. Alright then. But a favor? Now that's entirely different. He's like, I won't do what you tell me. Unless you're in, a, in need of help, then I guess maybe I'll let you do I'll let you tell me what to do. Just leave it to me. <laughs> My his God, hand your hand through his hair. clipped through his hair. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, so for some reason, mm. Genie can get around the whole like you're not supposed to take here a lot of things out of their world, and he's going to actually be joining us as a summon because he's a Hell magic. Yeah. He's just a magic. He's a magic. Yeah, he's one magic. Jafar was beyond no, 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 he's not. He's not just any magic. He's a magic, which means he is magic from the fonts himself. A. 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 Wait a minute, it's a villain meeting. Oh right, Jafar died. The end. I guess we'll just have to promote Riku. <laughs> it's a villain meeting, and Riku is here too. I guess. Well, Riku's a villain now. Yeah. Sort of. I mean, and Kyrie's a villain. That's why she's here, really. right? No, he's no, just Kyrie's asleep. Kyrie. Riku is just an edgy teen going through a phase, also known as a villain. Guys, it's Captain Hook. He's not a villain. What's up, you pointy stash fuck? Why are you doing all this for me? What's the catch? Catch? What's the catch? Yes, that's what he asked. Are you deaf? I only want you to be happy. Well, she doesn't have ears. I seriously doubt that. Believe what you wish. But lest we forget, I kept my end of the bargain. Okay. It's kind of jarring how, like, in the cutscenes, they will go back and forth from, like, you know, more fluid animation to just them standing and flapping their lips. Yeah, it really is. Like I said, it's... I don't know if it's more jarring that, um... Oh yeah, we also get a new Keyblade. Um, and we also learn the Green Trinity, which will be very important in a moment. Um, but yeah, no, like, I don't know if it's more jarring in this game where, like, it just happens randomly and, like, you can... Like, there's so much lip flapping, but there's also a decent amount of, like, the more fluid animations. Or if it's more jarring in the second game 
where it's mostly actually fluid animations, and then there'll be random points where it'll actually have a lip flap instead. You get a trophy. Uh, yeah. In this point in the game, Sora's going to try to get us to uh, go back to other places and make use of some of our trinities. And while you don't have to actually come back and do any of the stuff that I'm going to I'm I'm about to do now, uh, this is probably the best point in the game to do it. Um, you can progress onward, though, to either of the fall, either of the worlds after Agrabah, though, if you want to just get over there first. But uh, I think it's very important to come back here and hit this because we are going to unlock the Synthesis Shop! So why it's can't we do that with other people? Uh, because it takes the bonding friendship of Sora, Donald, and Goofy, apparently. Anyway, up here, there's some treasure chests to reward us for our, uh, I guess, unlocking this place. Um, but yeah, we can come back here, and the Moogle that's over by the smelting furnace can allow us to make stuff by taking synthesis materials. Uh, some stuff is really hard to make in this game, so... I will not actually be making all of this stuff on screen and showing it off. Although there might be points where I'll show off like a couple of things I'll make here and there. Um, this is how you'll actually eventually unlock the Ultima weapon in this game, which is a recurring weapon throughout the series, as well as Final Fantasy in general. Um, it's super hard to make the Ultima weapon, but I'm planning on getting all of the Keyblades in this game, so I'm going to have to do it. Essentially, the... Um, there's going to be 33 synthesis uh, things you can synthesize. Um, they come in batches of several at a time. You have to make at least a certain amount in order to unlock the next batch. Um, it's usually like three or four, uh, like one batch, and then like three or four the next batch. And like, I think like at, when you're like unlocking like up to like the last ones that hit 30. It'll be like, oh, you need like 25 of the last ones made. Um, but in order to unlock the last three, which are the ultimate weapon and two uh, weapons for one weapon for Donald, one for Goofy, you have to actually synthesize all the other 30. But thankfully, the ultimate weapon doesn't require that you make the ones, the Sora or the Donald and Goofy items. So once you have the first 30, you can just make the ultimate weapon if you don't want to give Goofy or Donald anything because they don't do anything in this game. Because they're terrible awful. Let's go back to Merlin's house. Speaking of a chest terrible back awful. Go get it. No, I can't go to that treasure chest. We still need like the glide and uh, that trinity over there is yellow and we don't have access to that yet. God damn it. Why are we even here? Why are we here, Merlin? To see this old because... fuck? Nope. We're gonna check out that book. Oh shit! Remember how we got? Remember how we got that torn page? Yeah. Uh, well, we can uh, bring we can bring the torn pages to this book, and we can bring the book back to life. Oh shit! We're in the book, guys. We're, well, we're on top of the book. Blue skidoo, well, yeah, no, we can right. too. Boo. Close. Uh, there'll be stuff that like you can kind of tell is like slightly accentuated. And you can go to different little areas that'll be unlocked across the game through the torn pages that you He's can like a, the go. size of an ant, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. I think um, there's like six or seven, maybe eight torn pages. <gasps> Guys! There he Tweet is. The poo. What if I started a home run derby? <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just thinking. About? What's up, Pooh? Oh. Oh, okay. How to say goodbye to Pooh. Your poo. Why are you trying to think of your Pooh? Yes. Wait a second. Your Pooh? Wow, Sora, that's Pooh. fucking rude. Pooh for short. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Sora Kingdom Hearts. Oh, Sora Kingdom Hearts for short. Have you come? 
to say goodbye to Pooh too. Well, no. Imagine showing oh, yeah. this to yeah, someone is who is familiar with Winnie the Pooh but has absolutely no knowledge of Kingdom Hearts. Yeah. Oh, so me? We all lived here. And They'd be like, the is this the new replacement for Chris? <laughs> what the fuck? Chris is going Why does he the, have the redesign for Christopher <laughs> Robin looks pretty wild. Just one <laughs> it's the twenty. It's twenty twenty one. What do you expect? But now, everyone. I don't expect gone. him to wear clown shoes. <laughs> and my honey so yeah, basically, what Pooh is trying to say is, uh, he's sad because since the book is missing all its pages. All of his friends are gone, and that's why he was trying to think of a way to say so goodbye to himself, knows, too, because, I mean, he's I next. Damn. Well. But I yeah, no, this is actually kind of sad. Say goodbye to myself. Think, think, oh. think. We'll help you, Pooh. Oh, my tumbly is getting rather rumbly. All right, bye, Pooh. Yeah. So, we're not gonna, we're not gonna do The 100, 100 acre wood. The 100, 100 acre wood. Um, we're not going to be doing too much of the 100 acre wood just yet. I will have a point in the game where I'll come back and basically do just a, most of it all at once. Um, but the 100 acre wood is a special world because there is no combat. As you can see, where my command would normally say attack, it says hit. Uh, there's no fighting in this air in this world there's going to be a bunch of mini games that you'll be able to do in order to interact with the different characters of the winnie the pooh franchise but uh we only have access to that one cut scene for now so we'll have to come back when we have some more torn pages uh also fun fact i didn't know uh did you know that winnie the pooh is like literally in like the top five or top ten uh highest grossing franchises of all time i believe that makes it. sense Winnie, the like name, is name like, like a billion years old. There are not only is it a billion years old, but like there are few franchises mo more like universally beloved than Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, like who like, the fuck? Who the fuck doesn't like Winnie the Pooh? Exactly. Like Winnie the Pooh is one of those things that it's like it's boys, girls, you know, anyone, young, young, old. Like Winnie the Pooh is great because like. If you're a kid, it's nice and sweet and friendly, and everybody loves each other, and it's a, you know, it's a, it's a colorful series. If you're a, you know, an older person, there's actually some very intriguing humor and writing in this in Winnie the Pooh. So it's it's just great. But yeah, it's right up there with like Hello Kitty and Mario, Pokemon. Like I was, I was shocked when I, when I saw that. Like it was, it was right up there with the rest of them. I was like, okay. Uh, but anyway, yeah, um, that's the major thing that we're coming here for is to open the synthesis shop and to um, and to uh, unlock the Winnie the Pooh world. Um, if you haven't deposit any of the postcards that you might have found exploring Traverse Town. Um, you can stop by over here. They should have some new stuff. Uh, I cut out the actual shopping because I managed to remember to cut that out at least. So anyway, uh, sandwiches. There's there are some yeah, but there are some like new shields and stabs you can get for Donald and Goofy. Um, interestingly, both Donald and Goofy have like several subsets of weapons. Uh, Donald will have stabs that are more inclined for keeping his MP raised and because of that will affect his magic power. And then there's more physically inclined staves. So if you wanted him to like actually like do physical attacks, you could get stabs that actually hit really hard almost like a club. Uh I don't usually recommend those to though because Donald really should especially in later games Donald should just be casting magic. Um is there like an electric rod where he just absorbs all attacks? <laughs> I fucking wish. <laughs> um, Goofy, he gets uh, several set different types of shields where there's some that are balanced between being defensive and offensive in usage. Uh, there'll be a couple that are really big, and even if like they could already be good physically, they'll be more so better for like him defensively for blocking hits. Um, 
And then he has like small shields that will have normally better uh, attack power and give you a boost to his uh, physical power through those. So yeah, Donald has like two different kinds of stabs and then Goofy has like three categories of stabs, although one of them comes up a lot less often. So, uh, Let us we're going to go and do the fill cup. Because I did mention we have a thing we can do now. For so now that we tournament. have... Now that we have admission to the tournaments, uh, there's going to be four unlocked across these uh, the different stages of the game. Um, each of the first three will have nine battles. Sora and the gang will start at the tenth seed, which is position on the leaderboard, and you'll have to fight your way up to make it to the first seed. Uh, the enemies are set. There'll be a specific number and specific... Uh, roster of enemies for every fight. They have special kooky names. Uh, so you will... It's not randomized. You will always fight the same groups of enemies. And this is... This goes for pretty much every time you'll have the Olympus Coliseum in the games. Like, there's a couple of games that have Olympus Coliseum. Uh, this is the only one, though, that has an arena that you actually can still Big gain feet. experience from. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, because in other games, especially Kingdom Hearts 2 notably, uh, you could do a bunch of different tournaments, but you actually don't get experience for the enemies that you fight against. That's, that's so this, So this, because of that, by default, makes this a good opportunity for grinding if you need to get some extra levels and you just want the easiest, quickest way to do it. Come to Olympus Coliseum, do whatever the most recent tournament you have access to that you can do uh, consistently is and just take enemies down a bunch of times so you have the levels that you need. Big uh, oh yeah, so I mentioned uh, way back when we unlocked the Keyblade from Karzian's World that it rarely deals critical hits but it has noticeably more power than the Kingdom Key and has a really long reach. Uh, Three Wishes' is reach is kind of closer to the Kingdom Key, uh, but it has some really good uh, chances at critical hits and also is a really hard weapon to deflect. So if you use, if you have like counter attack or if you just are good at timing your shots, your, your swings, you can like really fuck up enemies because they just, they can't really like try to parry your attacks well. Nice. If you're a physically inclined player, you'll probably be using Three Wishes for a little bit because there's going to be like three or four worlds coming up and only one of them has a really good Keyblade. If you're more magic based though, you'll probably end up wanting to use one that you'll get from another one coming up. Uh, I try to make use of like most of the Keyblades that I unlock, although the further into the game that you get, good lord, the Keyblades you get, you'll just get a bunch of them really fast. So you won't even have like the time to like test out all of them once you hit like a certain point of the game. I got like five Keyblades in a span of like an hour. That's um, yeah, that's not helpful. It's we sad, too, because, it. like, there's a couple, especially in Final Mix, because Final Mix adjusts a few Keyblades ever so slightly. Final Mix causes uh, a Keyblade or two to just get completely outclassed by a Keyblade you'll get very shortly after. Um, and I'll mention when we get further into the game, like, what are some of the really, really good Keyblades, because, like, right now you don't have a whole lot of options. Because, like I said, you start slow with, like, the amount... That you'll have access to, but you'll soon get access to like a couple dozen, I believe. It's like somewhere in the ballpark of 20, 25. I want to say. Might be a little bit less than that. There's a couple that are exclusive to the final mix version, so if you're, as long as you're not playing the original PS2 release, you'll have access to them, but if you're playing the PS2 release, you actually will not have uh, a couple that you can get. Oh no, it's a... a bronze song without arms. Oh shit. 
Yeah, and it's like, pink. This tournament, they uh, they take the pieces of that guardian armor that we fought very early in the game, and um, they just they split them up and you fight them his different pieces across the seeds in this tournament with this being the last one um interestingly though they keep their colors from the original game if i'm not mistaken um even though uh the final mix version had recolored them weird yeah it's, it's interesting they forgot about or it 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 might be that, or it might actually be, um, I think these had a different color than the one, than, like, the regular counterparts in the original game, but because only the original, uh, enemies got palette swaps, the palette swaps here are left the same, one of the two. Oh yeah, we got the gravity spell. That spell that I mentioned, I think, in the last part, yeah. So we should have just done this before we, uh, went to... Yeah. Oh, yeah. See Aladdin. And that's why the the white mushrooms can't, they can't, they won't do like charades that you have no access to at that point. So they did that because I should I actually could have had that spell. Um, so you get several different uh, rewards for beating the different tournaments. There will be one when you first beat it. You can go back in and do a time uh, a Sora alone version, so you don't take Donald or Goofy in with you. You'll get an, another uh, reward if you do that. And then there'll be one more where you have to do a, a time trial, and if you can beat it in the time that they allot you, you'll get a third reward. So there's three rewards for doing each of the tournaments. Uh, I don't recommend doing the ones outside of the first run until you're a little bit further into the game past the point you first unlock the tournament because it is a little tougher to do it without Donald or Goofy and it is a little bit tougher to do it like really fast without like really good keyblades and magic at that point so mm -hmm. try not to sweat do it yeah try not to sweat doing the other stuff until after uh, I'm trying to decide where I want to go Wee. But first, we gotta come back to Agrabah in order to actually proceed. Because oh. we're going into uncharted territory. I love how the entire bottom half of the world is the fucking Cave of Wonders entrance. Yeah. It's so, the desert. We're gonna go down below. Quote. So oh, you can take either the It's top a worse version of riding the... on the magic carpet. Oh my god. <laughs> First you said that that was the worst version of the gummy ship, and now you're like flip flopping. Uh, yeah, uh, you I'm can... a politician. Of course I'm flip flopping. You can take this portal back towards Traverse Town. Don't do that. It's... We're trying to progress the game. Nuh-uh. I'm trying to stall for time. Are you? 200 parts of Kingdom Hearts 1. Let's go. Good lord, no. This game is not that long. I'd have to split the done? parts into like, I'd have to split the parts into like five minute videos if you wanted two hundred videos. OG fucking YouTube uploads. Let's go. It's like uh, join our uh, five Sunday episode upload or five Sunday uploads because we have to split the uploads into five parts. Just to upload five videos a day, and they're all five minutes long each. I mean, that's smart. Yeah. That's how you get the kids to watch your videos. There was a point. Wasn't our time limit, like, what? Ten minutes? Ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. So we literally It, it was ten no minutes choice. for, like, ever. Unless you were a YouTube partner. Yep. And, and then, then it was 15 it... minutes. And then it was and... just forever. I remember when it was 15 minutes, we had to, like... I mean, there was that, uh, the strike, uh, I think, brought it back down to 15 minutes. Yup. There was that brief period where that we had the strike, and that was years ago at this point, too, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. That was before I joined Gaming Studios. What did we get the strike for? Uh... The fucking... Review the, of, the review um, of Bokuwa. Oh, yeah, Bokuwa. because it had... Yeah, or was it, it Bokuwa? Uh, no, it was oh, a no. Remo because we had the yeah. fucking music. 
Yo. It wasn't even the music, it was literally pictures. Yup. So fucking stupid. Yeah. I'm glad that they don't that, do fucking copyright strikes now like that. That was eight years ago. Yep. And that oh. strike lasted six months. So if you go to the south, uh, as you're trying to progress the gummy route, uh, there's this, this big boy. It's huge. Skanky. It's huge. The, the whale. whale. Skanking, Skanking king, king of, of the seven, seven seas. seas. That's actually Monstro. Skanky! The motherfucking the, whale! The motherfucking whale! <laughs> Alright, Landon, if you remind me, or Jack, I'll put that song in. Right now? Like, right here. Um, oh! We got, we got eated. Next time, we're gonna I go ahead it. and explore I the inside of Skanky the Whale.